So let's talk in this lecture about the functions of leadership. Marketing focuses on a complex set of activities that must be performed to accomplish objectives and generate exchanges. I'll just go through them quickly. Buying. A marketer must understand a buyer's needs, desires, and determine what products to make available because someone will be willing to buy them. Selling. Marketers usually view selling as a persuasive activity that is accomplished through promotion, which includes advertising, personal selling, sales promotion, publicity, and packaging. It involves things like making people aware that your product exists. They have to know you're there in order to buy it. They have to, you have, they have to know the features and how those features will help them achieve whatever it is they're trying to accomplish. They're going to have some objections. You overcome those objections. Those are all part of this process. Transporting. You have to figure out how to get the product or service to the customer so the customer could take advantage of it. Marketers focus on transportation costs and services. How best to take that, uh, put, take that into account as well. Storing. That is, like transporting, you have to store uh, part of the product or service potentially in a physical distribution of products. Um, this includes warehousing, distribution, all of that sort of thing. Grading refers to standardizing products by dividing them into subgroups and displaying and labeling them so that consumers can clearly understand their differences, their na the nature of the distinctions between them, so they can identify their what they are, what their features are, and their quality, their contents, if you will. So there's a, a way to evaluate one versus the other. Financing. For many products, especially large items such as automobiles, refrigerators, and new homes, marketers arrange credit to expedite the purchase. This also happens in business-to-business -business transactions where large equipment, someone is buying a, a, a backhoe or, or some sort of electronic equipment, the, the, that is often funded either through direct, through accounts payable sort of supplier transactions or through third-party leasing or financing arrangements. Marketing research is done by gathering information regularly uh, about customer needs and changing demographics and tastes. Marketers can detect these trends and they look for changes in, in what the consumers are purchasing and their, the tastes of the various uh, demographics and how the organization could find new ways for, to identify or to sell their products, identify new, new potential customers or satisfy old customers as they're uh, as their tastes change. And risk taking. This is the chance of loss that's associated with taking certain marketing decisions. The implication of risk is what is that most marketing decisions result in either a successful program or a failure. Uh, failures do occur. In fact, if you don't have some failures, you're probably not taking enough risks. The trick is when a failure arises, deal with it quickly and learn from it. Value is an important element of managing long-term customer relationships and implementing what's called the marketing concept. Value is a customer's subjective assessment of the benefits of a particular exchange versus the cost or relative to its cost to determine what the worth of a product is. Customer value would be equal to the benefits the customer receives minus the cost to the customer. Customer benefits include anything a buyer receives in an exchange. Customers judge which type of accommodation offers them the best value according to the benefits that they desire and their willingness and ability to pay the costs associated with the benefits. In other words, they might judge difference in a, in a hotel room based upon the availability of the room, the size of the room, uh, what sort of amenities are included in the room and evaluate those relative to the cost associated with the, the various types of rooms in a hotel. Customer costs include anything that the buyer must give up in order to obtain the benefit of the product. In the case of a hotel room, mentioned that you have to pay the price, but also cheaper hotel rooms may be further out from the city, which would involve a little bit of additional inconvenience. So that's also a cost. So it includes these non-monetary costs as well, and sometimes they may be equally important in, in a customer's determination of value. 
Two non-monetary costs are the time and effort customers expend to find and purchase their desired products. So let's talk a little bit more about customer benefits. Customer benefits include everything and anything that a buyer receives in an exchange. Hotels, motels, basically a room, as I mentioned before, you get a room with a bed and a bathroom, but each firm provides different levels of service in terms of the amenities that are provided, what kind of television program there are, whether you have a desk and internet, all of those kinds of features that you have, that you may get differences from various uh, depending upon which hotel you're staying with. There's also loyalty programs and those kinds of things. For example, Hampton Inn offers the minimum service necessary to maintain a quality, efficient, low price overnight accommodation. Whereas the Ritz Carlton provides every imaginable service you could like. You could, you could get, um, you know, elegant room service, all sorts of things like that. And they just strive to ensure that the service is of the highest quality. Customers judge, therefore, the type of accommodation by the products they receive, but also other aspects of the exchange that they get. Simplicity of the exchange, the ease of it, the quality, the customer service that supports it, all of those kinds of things. Uh, all Those all provide the benefits that they some desire and their ability to that they desire depending upon the individual those are the market segments that you're looking for and that's what different products target and again they have an ability to pay for the costs some people are more willing to incur certain costs than others so that's the notion of what you're trying to do when you're in the marketing organization you're trying to understand how you can provide those kinds of values to very different types of customers, what we call customer segments. And they may have different ways of evaluating relative benefits and relative costs. And you can structure different products to address different groups of customers that are what we call these segments. So we'll talk a little bit more about that, but in, first we want to dive right into this. You know, one of the more important concepts in marketing, uh, or the idea behind it, as it's framed in what's called the marketing concept, and that will be our next lecture.